Welcome to another how-to video from Leaping Lizard Labels. In this tutorial, we will be discussing bleed and how to add bleed to existing artwork or how to add bleed to new artwork. Bleed is important because for this example, let's say you have a five inch by five inch sticker or label you need printed. If we make the cuts at exactly five inches by five inches and the artwork does not extend beyond that, you risk a thin white trim of paper around your final product. So here's our sample artwork. I'm gonna hit Shift O on a PC or a Command O on a Mac to show me my artboard settings. The width here is currently five inches and the height is five inches. Most people require 0.125 inches on a bleed or an eighth of an inch, but here at Leaping Lizard, as long as we have 0.1 inch, that works fine. So to add the 0.1 inch bleed, we basically need 0.05 inches on the top, 0.05 inches on the bottom, and on the left and the right. Up here in width, I'll enter my 5.1 by 5.1. Now where the artboard has been extended to, you can see is in white, and that's where I need to extend my artwork to. I can grab the outside here, which happens to be green, uh, it may be a border on your artwork or it may just be your artwork in general. I'm also going to go up to the width and height and make it 5.1 by 5.1. I've also added this red line here to show you where the cut is. And now you can see the artwork extends beyond the cut and it should be perfect for when we go to cut your label or sticker. I'm going to remove that cut line and at this point you can save this as an illustrator file an EPS or a PDF and send it to us for printing as we will add our own cut line. So that's what to do with existing artwork. If you're making new artwork, go up here to File, New. It'll open up a new document. For example, none of this really matters except we have the five inches by five inches for the example. When you originally open this up, these will appear as zero. But as you can see, there is a bleed setting where we can add in that 0 0.05 inches all the way around. Now when we open up the new document, we have this thin red line which surrounds the artboard showing where our artwork needs to extend to. So if we grab the rectangle here and we open up a 5 inch by 5 inch sticker label, make it a color, we'll say green. I'm going to center it. You can see it still does not extend to the red line. It extends throughout the artboard, but not to the bleed line. I can make that 5.1 inches by 5.1 inches. And now you can see this thin black line, which represents the artboard or also where the cut will happen. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool again. Let's say 4.75 inches by 4.75 inches. I'm gonna make this one white and center it. And that'll show you a safe place for where to put your artwork. You can put artwork all the way up to the black line where the cut will happen, but any text or important information you wanna make sure is not cut off, I would make a buffer zone for that. So at this point, think of your label or your sticker as layers. The red outline being the bleed where you want your artwork to extend all the way to, the black outline being the artboard and will also serve as the cut and this white rectangle as being your safe zone where nothing is at risk of getting cut off. So at this point, after you've made your label, you want to save it. You can do this two ways. You can go to File Save As, which is up here, File Save As, or Control Shift S on a PC, Command Shift S on a Mac. Once we're in the Save As menu, we can save it as an Illustrator file. Just make sure your fonts are outlined. You can save it as a PDF, or you can save it as an EPS. I'm going to save this test as a PDF because it gives me options for adding the bleed. These settings don't matter too much, but I do prefer press quality. You can leave Preserve, Illustrator Editing Capabilities checked, 
because it'll make it easier for us to work with. Optimize for fast web view, does not matter in this case. View PDF after saving is just for your own preference to check out the PDF you've just created. But the important part is marks and bleeds and you wanna go down to this bleed area right here and click use document bleed settings. It'll automatically fill in the bleed or that red line around the art document 0.05 inches on each side giving us our 0.1 inch bleed. I'm going to click save PDF and it's going to generate my artwork. It can now be sent in to us for final printing. That is all from the Leaping Lizard team. Thank you and stay tuned for another how-to video.